Hello friends, so today in this video, we can discuss the first four problems from the latest ad code the beginner contest 205. So let's start. The first problem is a little bit simple. It says that you are given a drink that has a kilocalories of energy per 100 ml. Okay, now how many kilocalories of energy does B milliliters of drink have? So it's just like a simple formula, uh, like you have to just compare it out. So you know that 100 ml has a calories so b milliliters had how many calories okay so a into b divided by 100 okay so that's what you have to do because you have to give the answer 10 to 6 like decimal positions so just multiply this and divide by 100 so that's the answer i can show the code part for all the problems also this is not too difficult uh, you can find out all the code links in the description you can check those code out but uh, uh, all the codes will be in the description uh, this code is not too difficult to implement okay a into b divided by 100 second problem is you are given a sequence of n numbers and you just have to tell that whether it is a permutation of first n numbers so permutation means that all the numbers should be occurring only once and in those n numbers all the numbers should occur 1 2 3 4 5 till n they should be jumbled and like they can be jumbled or not but all the numbers should exist only once so what you can do like they can be number of ways you can like use a map to check that whether every number exists or not in c plus plus instead of that you can what you can do you can use a set because set only consists of one number only once so what you can do put every number in a set and after that if every number is unique and because the num total number are only n after inserting every number in the set if the size of the set remains same it means that no two numbers are like more than ones okay if the numbers are not more than ones then obviously like all the numbers are there which are the permutation of one till n so what you can simply do here is just put all the numbers in a set and just check that whether the set the size of the set is equal to n if it is same then the answer is yes also answer no so it's also not too difficult third problem is uh, it's not too implementation heavy you just have to understand and write two three test cases so the problem is telling you that uh, like what is power function like x to the power of 5 so x is multiply y times now you are given three integers a b and c and you have to compare a to the power of c and b to the power of c which is greater or whether they are equal so as you can see uh, like a and b can be from minus 10 to power 9 to plus 10 to power 9 and c can be from 1 to 10 to power 9 so the the main thing which you can observe in this problem is the power of both the numbers are same so if the power of both the numbers are same then so see if you want to make that two numbers are same so let's let's just assume that two numbers are same so 2 to the power of 4 is same as 4 to the power of 2 okay so because we just take this 2 and multiply like we can take this 2, 2 into 2 to the power of 2 and then it becomes 4 to the power of 2 but as you can see in this they can only become same when the power of them is also different like we can somehow manipulate them to make them equal but if the power of both the numbers are same then the for the two numbers to be same their base should be same i hope you get the point and if the base are different we can easily just find out depending on the base only now see if another problem is boiled down to this point is that what is the power okay whether the power is even or odd if the power is even then whatever is the base like the, the sign will disappear because if you multiply an even number like a negative number even times the negative number will disappear and thus the sign doesn't matter the base sign because the base can be from minus 10 to 9 plus to 10 like plus 10 to 9 okay so the base sign doesn't matter if the power of this is even so the power of this is even just compare the two numbers like which of them is bigger or whether they are same uh, you will just output that according to the like the base only but if the power of both the numbers which is like the c which is given in an input if it is odd then the power of them will not like the base of them will not change this is the base if the base doesn't change then you only have to compare uh, according to the what like whichever has the biggest base because the number which has the biggest base both of them will give the same power if the same power the number which has the biggest base will become the bigger bigger one i hope you get the point so that's the whole problem i can show the code part it's not too difficult uh, all the code in the description you can check those code out also so okay just wait uh, we can also open the last problem solution for the last one so as you can see in this yeah so as you can see in this we just take out abc as input if the 
power which is c is even then a and b which are the bases the sign doesn't matter so we can make the sign of both of them like we just make the value of them uh, absolute value so that the sign will disappear and we just compare them according to like which of them is bigger if the if the power is not even then we don't have to do this then whichever a is bigger then the answer is like like the left hand side will be bigger else if b is bigger the like right hand side will be bigger else if both a and b are same then the answer is equal okay so that's that's a not too difficult you just have to understand what the problem is asking uh, yeah the fourth problem is good it states that you are given a array of n integers and the integers can be pretty large <coughs> sorry the integers can be pretty large and you are given q queries now in q queries what you actually want to do here is find out the kth smallest integer which is not present in this whole array okay so i'll tell you with the example part so you are given an array as you can see as input q queries uh, so as you can see in this you have three queries and you're given an array like this now assume that you form an array like some new array such that in that array all of these numbers will not be present so as you can see the new array can be like it starts from one so one two three is present so three will not be there four then five six seven are there so eight nine ten and so on so in this new array what is the third small like what is the second smallest number second smallest is two. fifth smallest is like nine third smallest is four and so on i hope you get the point so the problem is just asking you that just make a new list apart from the number which has given to you in the whole original array and in the new list find out the kth smallest number i hope you get the point so that's the whole problem now uh, like intuitively when you thought about this problem uh, you first have to always un understand the constraint also the constraints is 10 to 5 which means that you have to somehow find out the answer and also though, as you can see a and k are pretty large so you cannot do in a brute force way obviously but you can also understand that whenever i see such large values now uh, like in most of the cases somewhat brute like binary search comes to my way because it generally helps like i'm not sure like perfectly sure but sometimes it helps so and also as you can see uh, like because q is of 10 to the 5 so it it actually also means that we have to find out the answer for every query in either o of 1 or either log of n like log of this value i cannot go more than that i cannot find out the value in o of n for every query okay so then what you can easily understand is try to impose binary search on it like like try to impose we have this array if we just go to some point like let's assume i go to this fifth point if i go to this five, fifth point then uh, th like this is the number which which will actually tells me that if i am on the second number like if i am on the second number this is five which means i cannot take this like i cannot take this but because i know the index of this number the index of this number is uh, if you take it from one indexing this is second number so it means that two like one number is before it so this is the second number and this is five so it means that if we just take a list from one till five how many numbers are there which we do not have to include two numbers three and five just stay with me if we just take a middle number just to assume that i just take any number i just take five six anything if i take this five if i'm on this five i can get the information that i have two numbers behind of me because i know the index of five index means that i am on the second index now which is five so it means that obviously there is one more number which is which is already present which is three so five and three there are two numbers if there are two numbers present and how many numbers it can be there like it could be there from one till five so one till five there can be like five numbers one two three four five and in those five numbers two numbers are already taken which number are taken three and five we cannot take them so what numbers are left one and four so it means that if you are on 5, we can somehow choose, like we can choose somehow three numbers uh, like before this number, which can be valid. I hope you get the point. So it means that at some point I can tell that how many, like whether there is some valid number I can choose before this number. Okay. And, uh, and uh, like we can do the same thing for every number. Like we can just go to every possible, like not every possible position we can just go binary search and find out that position from which we can just find out the closest position from which i can find out the kth smallest number 
Now I'll tell you with the code part or like more with the example part. So what you can do in the example is like in the problem is you can do a binary search. In in binary search, what you can do, you can just take the two indexes, the first and the last index, and find out at what index should I stop such that if I want to find out k, like if I want to find out the kth smallest element, the kth smallest element should be like left side of it, like the smallest left side. Okay, so in this, as you can see, if I want to find out what are the smallest second number, then I should return out three, like the zeroth index. Why? Because see, there are two numbers before three, which can be a possible answer, one or two. Okay, so for every binary search position, I can easily find out for like we can just find out the mid and just find out how many numbers are there to the left of it, which can be a possible candidate, and then we can come close to that position at which the number of candidates we can take is as close to the answer we want. Okay, so I can tell you the code part; it will become more clear, and then I take some examples also. So what what I actually done here is I just take the input of n and k. Okay, then take the input of all the numbers. Then for every query, take take everything in long long. Okay, don't uh, try to like get into a trap of overflow. So and take the input of x, which is like the query value. Then I have two left and right pointer. Left is zero index and r is the like the uh, the right index. And then do a while loop. Uh, like just this is the same as the uh, binary search thing. So l less than r. This is the mid value we just find out. Now, if we are on this med value, can we find out how many total values are there, which are to the left of it, which can be a possible answer? So, a mid minus mid plus one. So, see as you can, see, we have to find out how many numbers are there, which are left side of five, which can be possible candidate. So, how we can find out five? Like five is the possible answer. Like five, one, two, three, four, five are five possible numbers. And how many numbers are there? Index. Like we have to minus the number of index, but because one index, everything is zero index plus one. Okay. So now, if the total number of values we want to find out, if the total, which is the total number of numbers we have to find out, if this is greater than x, then I have to move my right pointer to the to the mid, so that we have to like compress my space and go to the left point. If this is smaller, like the total number I have find out is smaller, I have to somehow extend my range and I will make my left go to the mid plus one. Like it's a standard binary search. If you haven't watched my binary search playlist, I have uploaded a lot of problems on binary search, so it will help you to understand this binary search problem. After that, my answer is stored in left. Left means that, like, what is the position which is closest to my point, such that I have to find out the kth smallest number. Now, what you actually have to find out, or like, see here is let's. I want to find out in this like tenth. Okay, so uh, so as you can see, tenth uh, smallest number. See, tenth smallest number is greater than like after this seven because see, till seven, how many smallest number are there? Uh, from one till seven, there are seven numbers, and out of that, four are used. I cannot use this four. So from seven, I have to remove uh, like three numbers are there. So as you can see, three numbers are there: one, two, and four. These three numbers are there, which can be a possible candidate. But after that, we have like we can take just in an increasing manner, like eight, nine, ten, and so on. So after seven, we can just take any numbers. So what you can see in this example is, what you can see in this example is, what you can do here is, we have to find out that how many numbers are there which are smaller than seven, which can be a possible candidate before seven, three numbers. But I want the eighth smallest number. So it means that it is greater than the last number I want. So if it is greater than the last number we want. Is the number which which we are looking for x? It is greater than how many elements are left? Then what we can do? We'll take the last element, which is like the a of l, which is stored in the uh, pointer which we are using this binary search thing, and we have to add how much elements are left. Like so, as you can see, three elements are before it, and I am looking for four, like eighth element. So eight minus three, five. So from the last element, I have to go five step ahead, and that will be my answer. Because see, three elements are taken care of that behind that. And I want to find the eighth smallest element. So three elements are before that. So how many elements I have to go after that? Five more elements. So that we have done. So what is the difference? Total number of elements I want is x, and how many elements are before it? How many elements are before it left? So x minus left, and we have to add it to the last element. Else, if the number which we are looking for is, is smaller, so let's assume that I am looking for the second element, and I come to this point, this index. Now it means that two elements are before me because at three I know that one, two, three elements are there, and how many elements are occupied? One element, which is like the third element. So two elements are left. So two elements are left, and I want two elements. So it means my element is 
before it like the current index i am i am on like i have to go backward direction so how much backward i have to go so i know that like five numbers are there which i can use before it and i want the third element so two steps i have to go back okay so that's what we have to do back and we are from a of like a of l is telling me the the pointer at which my answer is and i have to subtract this much amount which is like left minus x plus 1 so that i can go to that point which is like left minus x plus 1 will give me how much element are left because as you can see five elements are before me and i want the third smallest element so how many element are left like two so just go back and that's what we have find the answer i hope you understand the logic in the code part for this problem all the code will be in the description you can check those code out i'll send you a special then keep coding and bye